Is Congresswoman Michelle Bachman trying to shut down the federal government? Well, not really, but she is one of six Republican members of Congress who voted against a two-week stopgap to keep funding our government. So why did she vote against this bill? Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is here. Good evening, and uh, let me just turn it over to you. You brought all those, uh, those uh, clipboards, so I figure you must have something to tell me. I did. There's a shocking piece of information that people are just finding out. In fact, most members of Congress, Greta, don't even know this information yet. When Obamacare was passed, last year. Remember, Speaker Pelosi said we have to pass the bill to find out what's in it. We're just finding out that not only was Obamacare passed, but the bill contained over $105 billion worth of appropriations. In other words... Now, why is that unusual? Well, it's unusual because usually you, you pass a bill to authorize spending, and then appropriation means you actually do the spending. This bill made future spending so that even though Speaker Pelosi lost the majority, they lost the gavel, they weren't going to lose Obamacare because they already funded it. But most most of your viewers don't know. How about members of Congress? Most members of Congress don't even know. Because they never bothered to read it. It isn't that they didn't bother to read it, it was hidden. As a matter of fact, a report came out just in October, Congressional Research Service, that revealed for the first time that over $105 billion was appropriated. So consider this, House Republicans have been working day and night to cut $100 billion out of the current budget. Well, guess what? We're already in the hole. $105 billion has already been appropriated. And if we don't defund this money, Greta, President Obama will be able to spend this on Obamacare. This year, he'll be able to spend $5 billion, and by, tw by uh, uh, 2019, he'll be able to spend the whole $105 billion. The, the, the group of very um, earnest and new freshman members of, of Congress said that they want to cut $100 billion out. Yes. That's what they said. That's their goal, at least the state goal. Are you telling me that uh, we've that we have an extra 105 that we have already designated? We're going to spend 105 billion dollars that nobody knew about, so that it's essentially a wash. It, it is not a wash in that we're trying to take $100 billion out this year. Obamacare this year represents $5 billion, but by the year 2019, it will be $105 billion. I see. Okay. It's a mammoth amount of money. Now, we did pass a vision on funding for Obamacare in the last uh, H.R. 1 bill that we did where we had about 90 hours of debate, but that was current funding. So the current funding for this year, we said no Obamacare funding. But the shocking news is there's already been $105 billion. Uh, Repres former Representative Ernest Istok, now at Heritage Foundation, also discovered this, and he's been trying to let more people know. This is a big issue because we give the Health and Human Services Secretary, Kathleen Sebelius, in this section of the bill, she has the right to unlimited sums of money. In other words, she gets to decide how much money she wants to to give to the health exchanges. Above and Any, beyond the 105 or within the 105? Within the 105. Well, okay. But even so, she gets to choose, not Congress. Here's another one, a section in the bill. The Health and Human Services Secretary gets a $16 billion slush fund that she gets to decide for any project she wants, she can spend $16 billion on. And after the year 2015, in perpetuity, she gets $2 billion to spend any way that she wants. This is already done. Done. And Greta, unless we rescind this, this extra $105 billion will be added to the deficit. Right. Are you telling me that none of your colleagues who, that, who you know of who voted for or against this are aware of this appropriation within the Obama, within the health care law? Very few. There are, there are some who know, and that's why I voted against the next two weeks' worth of continuing resolution. Because Have you it told the speaker? I, I have told I've told people in leadership. I didn't tell the speaker specifically, but I went to several others in leadership. And, there, and the response it. is what? That we've got to do something. And so the the funding, the defunding of Obamacare was not in this next two weeks worth of spending. Which is why you voted no. Which is why I voted no. But it's even worse than that. That defunding didn't even include 105 billion. We've got to defund this because this is this is a done deal. It's all it's already been spent. So we're in a huge hole, an extra 105 billion that no one even knew. Can you imagine members of Congress voting to spend 105 billion actually, and they actually, don't even realize it? Actually, I've been it's, surprised by much uh, in the last uh, number of years. But anyway, we got to go, um, Congressman. You've certainly given us a lot to look at and to investigate. But uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Greta. Charlie